How you doing? I'm Big D. Welcome to my show, String Em Up with Big D. Before we get to the show, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification for all. I upload at least one show a week. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I'll leave a comment for you. Wolfgang's first nomination for a Grammy came on November 23rd, 2021. In the category of Best Rock Song for the Mammoth WV8 Song Distance, uh, understandably, Wolfgang was thrilled with the news and tweeted out, Holy shit, I just got nominated for a Grammy. However, his mother, Valerie Bertinelli, whose Twitter handle is Wolfie's Mom, was over the moon for her son. little background on the song, Distance. It was the first single released by Mammoth, WVH. And it served as a tribute to Wolfgang's late father, Eddie Van Halen. Wolf Van Halen is leaving his late father's band to his uncle to manage. I'm assuming that means Wolfie was the manager? I don't know. But Wolfie is busy focusing on his band, Mammoth, WBH. So he's leaving it out to his uncle. Alex Van Halen. To make key decisions about Van Halen in the wake of his father, Eddie Van Halen's death. A year later, and it still hits home. Very hard to believe that Eddie Van Halen is passed. Wolfgang Van Halen has shared a statement reflecting on the one year anniversary of his song Distance. His debut single with his Mammoth WVH solo project released November 16, 2020. Distance was written about Wolf, Wolf's relationship with his father, the iconic Eddie Van Halen who passed a little over a year ago. Wolfgang Van Halen thinks about his late father, Eddie, after his first Grammy nomination, and he says, I wish my dad was here. That's an obvious statement. He, uh... He has a, ma a massive accomplishment since starting his solo career with Mammoth. Uh, the past year has been a mixed mixture of amazing achievements and experience, but has also been filled with tragedy for Wolfgang Van Halen. Sadly, legendary, amazing father passes away just before his solo album goes live. Wolfgang says playing live has helped him uh, reconnect with his late father. In a new interview with Rolling Stones on Mammoth WBH's recent, recently announced co Headline tour with fellow LA rocker Dirty Honey. The multi instrumental and instrumentalist plays uh, or says performing on stage is really the only thing I've got to connect with my dad. He says, I'll always have the memories, but there's nothing better than just playing music live and playing the music that two of us listened to together. He would have listened to it all and all the time. And he was so proud and happy with it. It feels like every night I'm doing it for him. While Wolfgang played extensively on stage with Van Halen, he has enjoyed a 
seismic tour, starting with Mammoth Wolf WVH, just four days after their first show at the Bottleneck Nightclub in Lawrence, Kansas, back in July, the band set off a three-month stint around the U.S. supporting Guns N' Roses. Wish I could have made one of those dates. The run wrapped up <clears throat> with two shows at the Hard Rock Live Arena in Hollywood, Florida. The first of which saw Wolfgang join Guns N' Roses on stage for a show-stopping performance of Paradise City. The tour followed the release of the band's debut self-titled album, which arrived back in June. The LP is compiled of 14 tracks, including You're the Blame, Don't Back Down, Feel, and Distance. Wolfgang's emotional tribute to his father, who died on October 6, 2020, following a lengthy battle with cancer. Following Eddie's death, Wolfgang had repeatedly shut down fans, asking him to play Van Halen songs with Mammoth. WBH, most recently playing or saying he was fucking exhausted by the request. In a Twitter exchange last month, a fan asked Wolfgang, why after all your resistance against Van Halen fans did you decide to add WBH to your band name? Honest question, to which the guitarist replied, last I checked it was my fucking name. Leave this young man alone. Let him live his life. That is his name. Why would you have a problem with it? Despite all of his accomplishments this year, the 30-year-old Van Halen is still processing the Grammy nod. His statement, it's a huge surprise and an incredible honor, he tells UCR. Can't believe I'm in a category with Dave Grohl and the Beatle and a Beatle. That's insane. Wish my dad was here to see it. He'd probably just be going, see, I told you so. Because he believed in me more than I believed in myself. Van Halen reflected on the success of Mammoth, WVH, and Distance in a conversation with UCR on an anniversary of the single release. It really makes a huge change of a chapter in my life, he said. Figure out how to operate without pop in my life anymore. Moving forward with Mammoth for the first time. This will always be a really, I think, emotional or just kind of reflective period of, of time in my, my life. I think November is always just going to be I think November is always just going to be like this now. Mammoth will hit the road with Dirty Honey in January for the Young Guns co-headlining North American Tour. Both bands will have a day off in January 31st, which may give Van Halen a chance to attend the Grammys, whose other rock nominees include ACDC, George Harrison, Jimi Hendrix, and Chris Cornell. That is amazing news for Wolfgang Van Halen and the Van Halen family. I think he deserves it. He's an amazing musician, not just a bassist, not just a guitarist, not just vocals. This is a young man who is a master of all, my opinion. You might have a different opinion. Please leave it in the comments section. I do appreciate any comment that you would like to leave. Let's just not be crazy, you know. I understand everybody has a difference of opinion. But I think he deserves everything he gets. Nothing was handed to him. He is a very unique individual and an amazing artist. I think he deserves everything he receives. Nothing was given to him.
didn't hurt having a an amazing father. But that's life. Sometimes you are given an opportunity. Other times you have to take it. And he had both. Thank you for stopping in, checking out my show. I appreciate it. Like I say, if you uh, want to check out some of my past shows, I appreciate that as well. Have a great day. God bless America.